Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Discovered. And my girl has some, she's got some new duds. What's going on here, Slack? Yeah, um, we previously left off. I was at level 56. I am now at level 63. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I power leveled. I super power leveled off camera. It was pretty, uh, pretty routine stuff using the same power leveling uh, techniques that I introduced in the Dawn of Maximus, the exact same thing, uh, power leveling, or rather enchanting daggers with banish, um, forging daggers, uh, making potions, and using those to pay for skill training and or more filled soul gems, and then just rinse and repeating. It took about three hours, and I didn't want to do um, a walkthrough of all that, because this is supposed to be about exploration, not business, and it's just basic routine stuff that I introduced in the Dawn of Maximus, the whole power leveling machine that I showed you in the Dawn of Maximus, okay? So that's all I did off camera. Um, Conjuration is currently at 74, and um, my main goal was to refill the enchanting skill tree with perks, okay? So now, uh, with all the perks, I've got an enchanter rank five, insightful enchanter, corpus enchanter, and extra effect. And the main goal of that was to create a crafting suit for Helena. So now, this was the thing that was missing because I was feeling rather underpowered previously. And it's all because um, I haven't been able to really um, improve my weapons to the point that you normally can at this stage in the game. See, like I hadn't been using a, a smithing suit and I haven't been using super powerful alchemy, uh, fortified smithing potion, none of that, none of that. So just to demonstrate, um, put on all her gear now. I'm just going to show you what my my weapons are right now. Okay, so all my mainstay weapons, they're all doing 236 damage just for demonstrational purposes, all right? Let's just throw this back in here. What did I do? Oops. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's make some potions. We have a crafting suit. I've got, that's another thing I did also. Um, I kept harvesting my garden and I managed to harvest it, the garden and greenhouse, a whopping six times. So I've got like, you know, and I already made a whole bunch of potions, but I still have 130 of each left over. Plus I went to the trouble to get some ingredients to make some fortified smithing potions. Plus, um, as you know, I have canis root planted in the garden outside and I've been collecting canis root uh, every time I harvest the garden, so now I have 70 canis root. And I just went to uh, the Solitude Catacombs, where as some of you know, right here in Solitude, go there, go to the catacombs in there, kill three easy skeletons, and collect yourself all the hanging monsters. It's absolutely free. It may say, you know, steel, but don't worry about it. And now I've got 70 hanging moss and 70 canis root, which I'm going to use with my crafting suit to make some kick-ass fortify one-handed potions. Let's do that right now. Canis root, here we go. Whoops, wait a minute, what's, what's missing here? I know what's missing. I am now finished with the enchanting skill tree because I've made my crafting suit, so I don't need it anymore. For now. So let's declare enchanting legendary again. This will be like the fourth time. <laughs> Get all those perk points back and let's throw them in alchemy. Because as I said, I've been making a lot of potions, so alchemy is up jammed up to a hundred now. And we're gonna get alchemist rank five. Over here, get physician. Get benefactor. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magic magnitude. Yes, we want that. And for later on, let's get the poisoner perk. Poison you mix are 25% more effective. Now, let's make some one-handed potions, and as you can see, they are 
coming out at 122% damage. Better damage. Extra sauce. And let's make some Fortify Smithing Potions. Once again, weapon and armor improving is 122% better. That's key. You make Fortify Smithing Potions with any two of the following glowing mushrooms, Sprig and Sap, Saber Cat, Tooth, or um, Blister Word. And finally, let's make some Power Potions. <laughs> Look, they're coming out at 2,859 bucks. Just make a big batch of these, just in case I get the hankering to declare alchemy legendary later on. Probably not going to do that, but just in case. So I have the option. I have all these expensive potions already made. They're not going to devalue simply because of I declare alchemy legendary. Done and done. There we go. So crafting suit has already been worth its weight in gold, literally. Let's throw all these potions in here. Lighten the load a little bit. Keeping everything else on board. And let's go improve our weapons and armor. Why the armor, Slack? You already reached the armor cap. <laughs> actually, I thought about this. I thought, you know what? It's actually a good idea that I go way over the cap. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. Wait a minute, there's something left in there. Nope, got it all. Okay, we'll start with the armor. Quick save before every, every crafting session, every major crafting session. Take a fortify smithing potion, and I've got all the in ingredients I need to improve my armor. And as you can see, it's going double legendary. This usually happens when you have a kick-ass fortified smithing suit. And put on our armor. And as you can see, our armor rating is a ridiculous, ridiculous 1996. Way, way over the cap. We have like three times the cap and then some. The armor cap when, we're, when using a shield is 542. Why, Slack? Why? Because, as you know, I'm prone to forgetting to put on my armor after using other pieces of gear. For example, if I put on the black guard's gloves and I open a lock, you've seen me do it before and I'm going to do it again. And then I forget to put on the, you know, the combat gauntlets afterwards. And I go into combat with these stupid black guard's gloves on, which completely blows away my armor because I'm not getting any of the bonuses. I'm not getting any of the, uh, you know, the heavy armor bonuses, like, you know, wear all heavy armor, wear all heavy armor of the same type. Not again, any of those bonuses. And I go into combat like that time and time again. So with my armor way over leveled, even without the combat gauntlets, my armor rating is still 1107. Let's say I put on the crafting circlet, which I've also put lock picking on. Okay, so the, putting this on and the black arts gloves will give me plus 82% better lock picking. Okay, now let's say I go into combat with this, okay, and I forget to put on my combat gear. Look, my armor rating is still 857. So you see, I've created slack proof gear. Okay, no matter what, no matter how much I forget, I'm still going to be over the armor gap. I would have to forget to put on everything except two pieces of armor. I would have to forget everything. Even with, like, let's just take off everything. Let's just say I had the only the armor on. I still have an armor rating of 509. So, you know, like I said, slack proof gear. All right. Now, let's go improve the weapons. Another thing I did was I went out and power shopped for a couple of glass bows and a couple of glass war hammers. Why slack? I'll explain why later. Right. That's, that's for a later project. But I don't want those. I want to improve them now, now that we have the chance, all right? So I'm going to improve all my regular glass gear and these as well. And they're all going to go probably double legendary. Let's take a Fortify Smithing Potion. First of all, let's uh, quick save. Fortify Smithing Potion. 
and it's going to require some refined malachite. I got a whole bunch. There we go. Everything went double legendary. Okay, now remember my weapons were doing what 236 damage before. Let's put on all our gear. Now that they've been improved up to double legendary, my weapons are now doing a whopping 648. Yeah, so now we're up to snuff. Now I'm no longer underpowered. This is good. This is going to be really good. In fact, I am sure that. <clears throat> Complaints are going to start rolling in that I'm overpowered. But I don't care. You say overpowered, I say kicking ass. You say potato, I say potato. They, I mean, it, we work for this. We work for this. I deserve it. I'm going to go out and kick some ass. Right, Helena? Now, um, let's get it ready for combat. Speaking of kicking ass, you are number four. That's good, and should have a big batch of vegetable soup on board. That's good. We stash the weapons there. Let's stash the crafting suit, everything except the circlet. The circlet we can use for some lock picking. Lighten the load a little bit. That's good. And we're going to buy some conjuration skill training. So let's take out from a stash of merchandise to sell. Let's take out the really expensive ones, say, take a dozen of those. By the way, I have complete notes of everything I did off camera. If you want to see those notes, post a comment. If enough people post comments about wanting those notes, um, I'll make them available. All right. So post a comment if you want those notes. If you're following this walkthrough closely and you need help with power and leveling up to level 63, like I have just done, uh, we're going to need some empty soul gems. We're going to be filling up soul gems like crazy. One area that we're going to be visiting is going to be filling up a lot of commons. As you can see, um, when I was doing my power leveling, I was amassing soul gems like crazy. I've got 68 freaking grand soul gems. 68. I was just buying them all because it was it was the easiest way to unload all my enchanted daggers, which were worth like a bazillion dollars each. So I just bought all the soul gems that they had available at the College of Winterhold, all the mages there, as you saw me doing the Dawn of Maximus, just bought them all, you know. Um, let's take, uh, say, 50 commons. Let's take 10 grand. 10 greater. I'd say 30 lesser should do it. And as you can see, I had, still have 123,000 gold and 30 petty. Not out of doer. One last thing, let's just dump the extra smithing materials that I didn't need. This is my smithing material, <coughs> pardon me, smithing materials wardrobe. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And carry weight 165. That is correct. That's it. Let's get back to the war. Two things. Buying all the conjuration skill training I was buying. I have jammed conjuration right up to the edge. Just short of leveling up to conjuration level 75. If we go to the guard at the Ember Shard Mine and cast the Bound Bow, or Bound, bound Sword rather, in front of him. That should level up Conjuration easily. Unless there's some enemies here. Okay, and also I want to hook up the voice of the Emperor. There we go. Ember Shard Mine. Hey, buddy. Here we go, Conjuration up, calm down. And now we want to buy some more Conjuration skill training. Our good friend Finnis at the College of Winterhold can no longer train us because he's only an expert trainer. 
and he can only take us up to level 75. But Falion in Morthal is a master trainer. He could take us up to level 90. Now at this point, um, once skills get up over 75, skill training, is, skill training is exorbitantly expensive. Starting a level 76, it's just short of 4,000 bucks a pop. That's why I bought those really expensive potions along. Um, still early in the morning. Let's wait till nine. He should be open. There we go. And I'm surprised there isn't a dragon here. Family, my man. Like to buy some skill training? My talents are much needed. Can you teach me about conjuration? Deal with powerful forces. Take care they do not overwhelm you. Okay, so 75 is still cheap. The old price. And watch. Boom, the new price, just short of 4,000 a pop. So it's like just short of 20,000 I just spent on skill training. Cha-ching. But we can cover it, no problem. No problem at all. Morthal is a troubled place. Okay, and... So wish to master the arcane arts. Let's sell him uh, some of these. There we go. Got most of our money back just with those expensive potions there. And a couple of the cheapos. There we go. What have you got in the way of... Interesting. This is not part of the... Uh... Actually, I want this. I didn't know that was a conjuration spell. Unless, um, actually, I think it's an illusion spell. He sells illusion spells as well. Oh, he does. Okay, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I could have gotten that for free at the uh, Emperor Shard Mine, but, you know, I'm filthy rich. Oh, bother. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Let's get back into the war. Next up the bat is Pine Moon Cave. That's number 1.10 in our list of 30 locations that we're gonna uncover in the Hoffinger Hold. Pine Moon Cave has a quest look or quest associated with it. Um, it's the mage, the resident mage at the Blue Palace here in solitude. So let's go talk to her. Uh, I can run faster than you, kid. <laughs> Blue palace discovered. They'll probably all be like they'll have a like a kind of like a court in session. They'll all be talking about. Some kind of like trouble we're having. We won't be able to talk to Civil Stentor until this is all finished. So you try to talk to her now. Please, she says, don't interrupt, don't interrupt the, the court. court. We can Stentor. hustle along by simply exiting, waiting an hour or two, and then coming back. Very good. Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Barnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Off you go. There we go. Okay, Sybil. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Okay, to get the quest that she has for Pine Moon Cave, just ask her, what's your problem? Nothing. I'm busy. Bitch. And I don't <laughs> like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine. I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. Oh. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. 
Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. All right. Vampires are clever. You watch. More clever than All right, okay, so kill the leader of Pine Moon Cave. Can do. Pine Moon Cave is just east of Volskig. Which is the location that we were previously... Uh, let's go there now. Let's get some daylight happening. Great, no dragon. Excellent. What do you say, Queenie? Alright, calm down. Now, let's take all the markers off. You're off. And just basically turn to the east and you see that big cave icon on the compass? That is Pine Move Cave. Let's go there now. What's that? The hell? Okay, they look kind of dangerous. Okay, they're not interested in us. Go get it. Very good. <laughs> Although, we're packing now. We are packing. Alright, let's do this. Start off a little vegetable soup. And where is my shield? Did I forget my shield? Here it is. This is not hot key anymore. Alright, now we're good. Alright, Fido. Come and get supper. I lied. Come and die. <laughs> All right, you all want a little unrelenting force, don't you? Bring it. Oh, no. You, you just gave me, like, off with your head. Nobody gives me that vampire disease and gets away with it. Nobody. And I've got some potions to cure disease to get really rid of that right away. And I believe that was the guy that we were, yep, that's the guy we have to kill. Calm down there. Okay? Doing a walkthrough here. That's it. <laughs> okay, just out of curiosity, I wonder what uh, that um, Master Vampire has on him. Although I already know what I want to take as a memento from this location. Nothing really special. Let's just take the vampire just. Okay. I don't really expect much from here. A little chump change. And there's a little special room in here. Which has the memento I want. The incident at Necrom, I believe this is a destruction skill book. That's the an illusion skill book. My bad. That's what we're taking as a souvenir from this place. And let's see what is in the chest. Come on, be fair to me, game. Just give me some ridiculous loot. In practice runs, this is not bad. Huh. Okay. Close enough for rock and roll. That's it, we're done here. Next! By the way, this cave, Pine Moon Cave, has tons of fly amanita. I believe it has the most fly amanita of any location in the game. 66 to be exact. But we have a like we have a garden planted with fly amanita, so uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's go get our reward.
Back to Sybil. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I have cleared the vampires from Pine Moon Cave. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. I prefer finery, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't That would be nice. She gives us a silver amethyst ring. It's always a random piece of jewelry. I just noticed that she is a... Uh... Are you a destruction skill trainer? I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. You are. And you're a merchant. I never knew this. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. You're a merchant trainer. I never knew this. Wow. Okay. Take care of yourself and always yeah. remember the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Well, there you go, people. You don't have to join the College of Winterhold to have a destruction merchant trainer at your disposal. Um, next, Clear Pine Pond. This is east, well, east northeast of Pine Moon Cave. This is just a quick location. Might as well throw it in. It's inhabited by Spriggans. Alright, calm down there, Queenie. Let's go. If you look on the compass and you see that kind of like funny, like two trees in the form of like a V, you know, like there's this half circle underneath, that is Clear Pine Pond. That's where we're going. Nothing happens here until you come near the dead guy. And then a whole bunch of spriggans are going to spawn. So let's just take a little bit of veggie soup here. Dead guy is over here by the log. And always has this. I believe this is a... It's a skill book of some kind. You can tell because it's worth more than 50 bucks. Let's just take everything. And this will spawn the Spriggans. And that's that done. Take the taproot off the Spriggans. And that's this location cleared. Let's just see what that book is. That's going to be our memento from this location as well. Derirum Derinus. I believe this is a destruction skill book. That we already picked up. Next. Location 1.12. Raven Scar Hollow. It's east of Whittle's, Whittle, Whittle's Watch Ruins up here on the North Shore. Let's throw, let's throw that in too. I believe it's that cave right there on the compass. And something's up there. Um, we're going to get to that later. This should be a Raven Scar Hollow. It's like all, it's like all, what's that? Oh, saber cat. Let's see if you have some saber cat teeth. Ow, teeth, what? Hey, 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 hey. Bad pussy. Bad pussy. Bad. 
now. Give me some. Dang it! Yeah, it's this a random chance of getting either saber cat teeth or saber cat pelts. All right, sorry about that, there, Queenie. You okay? Okay, you just wait right here. We'll be right back. And this is. I forget what's in here. Well, they know I'm here now. Oh yeah, hags. All right. A little bit of veggie soup. Bad hag. <laughs> okay, and me gave up some hag raven feathers and the raven scar. Hollow cage key, which we can use to open up the back there. Got turned around. Um, there's a switch here somewhere. I forget where it is. Give me a moment. Here. My bad. It's right here. Look for the goat's head. Pull the lever. Holy fuck! You can't wait to get at me, can you? Okay, and give up the feathers. Atta girl. <laughs> Matter of speaking. You get a little shield bash. And you give up the feathers. Atta girl. Okay, you let this guy out. If you kill all the hags first, you let him out, and um, he goes hostile on you typically. That out the way, I'll take everything you have. Oh no, you don't. Life. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Hey. Oh, that cuts it. That cuts it. Yeah. There, leveled up enchanting. Somebody asked why I keep recharging my weapon after every kill. It's because the black star is filling up. Every time you kill a human enemy, the black star fills up. Then when you kill another human enemy, the black star is full. So you want to empty it out repeatedly because uh, recharging your weapon, as you just saw, levels up your enchanting. That's why I'm doing that. Um. I believe there's a skill book here too. This is definitely a destruction skill book. Uh, it is. No, nope, well, we got some gems here. I can't remember if I bought that. No, I didn't. Okay, why not? Here it is. The Art of War Magic. This is the destruction book that I never go for in other destruction builds because it means coming here and dealing with all these hags. Okay, so that's going to be our memento from this location. So that's this one down. Knock them back here, boss. Next location, Iron Back Hideout. That's location 1.10, In the official Skyrim game guide. 
this is just kind of like a little hole in the wall shack right around just west of the Thalmore Embassy. We could ride down from the Thalmore Embassy or we could take this road up here. Maybe easier to ride down from the Thalmore Embassy. Or I actually had this uh, plan. That's right. Let's just stick with the plan. Okay, from here, ride east. And just push north a little bit, and you're going to run into the road. Stone road here. Right here. Here's the stone road. Then you just have to follow this road up. Take a nice scenic tour. Ice Wraith action here. Just pass on that. It's not on the agenda unless it gets right up in our face. Keep following the stone road as it winds its way up the mountain, and we got a little frost troll action here. Leave him to play with the Ice Wraith. Go play with the Ice Wraith. We're busy. Once you get up to this point and it starts turning south and you got these like uh, all these rocks here on your right. As soon as you get just past the rocks, push into the bush a bit. Right around here I believe, yeah. Yeah, right here. And you see that big house icon on the compass? That is Ironback Hideout. And you see the enemies are coming out to greet us. It's kind of hidden away here, but you push up here. There, you got a path right here. Oh, no, you don't. Just try it. Haha. <laughs> and we got a bandit chief here, and he's got some Nordic carved armor that I want. Hang on, let me just get organized here. Armor am you first, okay. Hey, yes. Give me a chance here. Have some vegetable soup. Okay, you. There we go. And as you can see, no soul gem large enough because I forgot to recharge. There we go, level up enchanting again. Okay, and it's your turn. Okay, calm down there, Queenie. You, we want your Nordic carved armor. Very good. And that, and leave that, and that. You can take that to Sovereign Guard with you. What's your story? Probably crapola. Just as I thought. And this also has a book. This is a pickpocket book, I believe. Dislike, call it a dislike. I'll use that as a memento from this location. There we go. Four locations cleared. One video. Oh, is that worth the price of admission or what? Just to recap, Pine Moon Cave cleared. Clear Pine Pond cleared. Raven Scar Hollow cleared. And where we are now, Ironback Hideout. Not cleared, but everyone's dead here. Uh, could be a bug that is not cleared. That's all that's here. That's just like a secret basement trap door or something. I don't know. Well, I've been here before. There's no, that's it. Anyways, I'll look that up. Um, I'll Google it, see if there's like a bug clearing this location. Often there is. We're done. Let's go back and put our mementos, mementos up at the homestead.
What's my carry weight like? Respect. Very good. Can I help? All right. Um. I wonder if I had some quicksilver ingots. If I had three, that would be great. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Okay, let's put on our crafting suit. That's right, I wanted to... A specific container for my crafting suit, I forgot about that. That's gonna be this container right here. Okay, crafting suit on. Do I have a fortified smithing potion ready to go? I do indeed. Okay, let's improve that Nordic carved armor that we just swiped off the bandit chief there. Look, that all this can be improved yet again. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. <laughs> Don't you want some more armor slack? Yeah, well, I'll save that for a later date. Okay. <laughs> it's insane. Um, okay, so we've improved that. Check it out. It's insane. All right, and I'm going to slap that on this baby right here. I might actually use that later on. Here, and dress him up. Right, looking good. Excellent. That's it, people. want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. See you next time for some more Skyrim Discovered. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.